news.com. And I go to yodanews.com. Yeah, sure. So we have Wedge Antilles minibus. I think we already offered that on our website for, uh, for PGMs. And then we have our PGM Padme minibus that's coming out later this year in Q4. Um, so this is actually making its de debut. Uh, it's Ezra and Chopper maquette. So we're actually posting up pictures. Um, and this is the full uh, paint master. So it's, this is what it's going to look like when it comes out. License are approved now? License are approved. Um, then we have the Endor Luke minibus. And this is our newest, one of our newest reveals, the Endor Soldier, uh, which is still pending license approval, I think. Um, which should be coming out sometime next year, third quarter, uh, but that can change. And this is Zeb from the Rebels. Um, this is actually inspired by the Macquarie concept art from the original Star Wars. Uh, he was supposed to be uh, inspired by um, Chewbacca, the Wookiee. Yeah, you can tell, like, yeah the, that, that nose right there, that sunken nose. And this is the Inquisitor. Uh, some of you guys have already seen it already. For PGM, you get that extra little cap, and then uh, for regular release, it's just a straight head. And I, so the, the process with the, the Rebels is, mm -hmm. um, you, you were saying before, is there was a, a lot of secrecy within departments? Within yeah, of for the most part, we kept things under wraps because you know we, we don't want too much information going out. Uh, we, we don't want any pieces that are unready for the public to see or approvals. Um, you know, if something comes out and it looks cool, but it's not as cool as what it will be, you know, people get a little confused and a little bit disappointed. So it needs to be approved and look exactly how it's supposed to be. And so was Disney um, very, like, uh, strict about when things could be shown at all? because it was a new series and not like the movies where you know everyone knows what the characters look like this is a new show that okay so for the showing off you know everything has to go through approval processes um, with Lucasfilm they've been pretty cool but it's got to be to the T what it's going to look like so if it's not ready to show we can't show it so sometimes we do show uh, concepts uh, sometimes we show uh, some digital renderings of the piece, but we always have to say pending license approval because you know we don't want anything going out that's not finished. So some of our newest items um, that are going to be coming out and solicited, I think later this year. I don't know the exact schedule yet, but we have Admiral Akbar, uh, we have Leia Bosch, uh, we have the Low Gray, and then we have Erdna. Um, so there might be a variant of this guy uh, with the apron and the different color. Um, but yeah, these are scanned from the originals. You know, I've seen the originals that have been chewed up a little bit, you know, gone through the dishwasher, you know, the laundry. And, you know, we'll scan the originals and then we'll clean them up just a little bit and, and then, you know, rotocast and produce them. Are these going to be regular releases or are any of these going to be expensive um, you don't know? I don't know yet. You know, when the time comes, when we start soliciting them, I'll post that information on Facebook and Twitter uh, but I think for the most part all these are going to be regular release um, if we do a variant that might be an exclusive but time will tell you know I'll have more prominent information for you later so this is our walking deadline so we've got some familiar faces that we've solicited uh, some of them were still in pending license approval but some of them come, have come out of that our newest reveals are the Maggie statue. A lot of people have actually been wanting and craving a Maggie piece, either mini bust or statue. What's going to be the, uh, the addition size for that, or do you know yet? We don't know yet. So this is the reveal. So we don't know uh, as far as production or addition size for these things are yet. So this is the first time that I've actually seen the paint master. I've seen the gray, and I've seen you know the sculpts of it, but this is the first time that I've even seen the full paint. It looks pretty awesome. Um, so we have Michonne minibus, uh, Governor minibus, and let's see. This is another new reveal, our Glenn minibus. It's pretty rad. Um, I think we're, it still needs to go through approvals for the paint, but it's pretty much done. That's what it's going to be looking like. So is it a separate license for the television and the, the comic book? Yes, yes it is. So we have the AMC Walking Dead television license, not 
the comic book license. You know, a lot of people do ask us that, and it's like, well, it's the same thing, you know. But they're, you know, just like Star Wars, there's Star Wars Clone Wars, there's uh, the comic, you know. But they are two separate different licenses. Get our, our regular so the original release, the exclusive release, was 200 pieces. It sold out the day of. And uh, the ex why it's exclusive or special is that Norman Reedus actually signed all the COAs of it. So there's 200 pieces that have the signed, uh, the signature of Norman Reedus. Um, later on, I think more towards Christmas time, we might do a, uh, a regular release. And we'll we'll start selling those. If not, it might be on the website already. I have to double check, but I think that this one might be already solicited to our distributors. So GI Joe, this is another awesome, cool reveal. So just like our Kenner figures, we're doing the same exact thing. You know, complete replicas. So we got the original ones. We scanned them in and we rotocasted them. And this is pretty much going to be the first five that you're going to be seeing. Uh, the first one that's coming out, we're going to try and do a grunt 50th anniversary for Christmas. So it's going to be coming in, um, if, all, if all plans go ahead, it should be coming in that uh, locker box, uh, maybe with a sticker, uh, just a little variant other than the uh, paperback cards. So is this a line that you're going to try to do all the figures as well, like Star Wars, or is it going to be, we'll see how it goes? Um, I've seen lots of feedback just from the rumors, you know, on his tank and all those other collecting forums. They all want the whole thing. So, you know, if the fans buy them and they love them, we're going to keep on making them. So we're just going to keep on pumping them out. I would like to see a whole bunch of Cobras, a whole bunch of G.I. Joes. They'd be pretty rad. Scarlet yeah. and Sir <laughs> They'd be pretty rad. All right. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. No problem. Thank, thanks for coming by. Until next time. Hi, my name is Keith Ozar. I'm from 3D Systems. We're bringing 3D printing to Comic-Con this year. Um, you're, are you curious about 3D printing? You want to know some things? So um, 3D Systems invented 3D printing 30 years ago. So what's really awesome about 3D printing, it empowers your creativity. Um, you don't really want to do these shows where people say, well, what am I going to make with it? At Comic-Con, people know exactly what they're going to make. I mean, Gentle Giant is awesome. They have all this entertainment licenses. They've been doing this for years. People love the toys. Now we're merging that together where people can co-create with their favorite brands, their favorite toys. Uh, and uh, we also offer home 3D printers. People can make their own toys. Um, it's not only toys. You can make, uh, you know, if you're a jewelry designer, you can make jewelry. You know, if, you're, if, you, make, if you want to make costumes, you can make uh, costumes and props. You can make puppets. It's, it's endless. So um, if you're not familiar with 3D printing, it's real easy how it works. Sure, so our machines, our consumer machines, they're plug and play, really simple to, to use. Um, this machine right here, the Cube, sells for $999, uh, works with your smartphone. So there's three ways you can, you can um, 3D print. You can either design something using computer animation software or CAD software. Um, that's a little bit more technical. Um, you can download, just like you download books, movies, or music, now you can download objects and just print them. There's hundreds of thousands of objects that are online that you can just, that communities are sharing. Um, and the third way is you can scan something. And we also sell scanners. So right here is a, a handheld scanner that snaps onto your iPad called the iSense. And we're selling it here at Comic-Con right now. So you can walk around a person or an object in a matter of minutes, you can scan them and get them on a 3D printer and print. Yeah, it really is. It's it's a magic box. It just empowers your creativity. So yeah, it's like, what will you do with this? You know, what will you make? And it, it really is up to your imagination. Well, there's there's a few different kinds of materials that you can print with. So our mater the materials you can print right now are ABS, the same stuff your Legos are made out of. You're familiar with that. Um, are a biodegradable biodegradable material called PLA, um, and they both work on both these machines. Uh, so the Cube Pro is a little bit more advanced. Um, you can also print in nylon, so it's a little bit stronger. It flexes a little bit more. This one can print the size of a basketball and up to three colors. This one, uh, the cube, can print two colors at a time. Um, but, but the materials are really easy. It's just snap in the cartridge. Um, in a matter of minutes, you're, you're started in printing. And you can print right from your, from your smartphone. It's, it's really, truly amazing. Right now, we're printing the Whisper uh, Bust. It's a Gentle Giant uh, exclusive. So if you buy any of our, our hardware here, um, we can show it right here. We're printing this. 
Right. So if you purchase one of our machines uh, or if you purchase one of our scanners, we're going to include uh, a USB drive that you can print these at home. And they're exclusive for Comic-Con. So this one's going to be printing a little bit bigger. And um, you can print really advanced objects here, too, that snap together. You can see uh, this, this gear machine. Yeah, so, so if I turn the crank, you can see... It really is, uh, so this is built in components. So you're not limited to the space on here. You can build things in, in parts and actually uh, snap them together and build in multiple colors and, and build large things too that are actually working. So the la um, so you can print in different layer heights too. So th what's great about the new machines are you can get to a really fine detail. This is 70 micron. So th that's the layer height. So it builds up, a 3D printer um, draws in plastic layer by layer. It builds upon itself until you have an object. So you can see how fine the detail is on that. You can, you can, you can make some really great looking uh, objects. Oh, so if you want to, so, so the, the draft mode is like three, 300 microns. So a chess piece takes about an hour to build. But you know what, you, you, you press it, you let it run uh, overnight, you wake up and you have that object. It, it, it's, it's, it's only a matter of time before you can print something. It's pretty simple. Yeah, and no problem, no problem. It's nice to meet you.